All right, so Glenn, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Beautiful property. Thank you. Absolutely blessed to be here. This is the Villa One Suriga Estate. We're gonna give you guys a tour. Welcome to Bali. Welcome. If you're watching this video, you're interested in starting a business, and you're interested in being able to travel and make money for yourself. So I go on these trips and I share what money can buy once you're able to commit to your vision, once you're able to commit to your business. And making no money doesn't matter. Your mind is your biggest asset. You can make an intention. You can say you're gonna do something and you stick to it and you remain consistent. You can manifest anything in the world. So three years ago, I had no money and I've spent three years building my business and now my whole passion is sharing that with as many people as I can to help as many people as I can. Helping also people to motivate. That's right, motivation. So thank you for coming along and let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> For massage. So, what I really liked about the villa was just the architecture we have. Dark wood, white tile here, it's very expensive. Part of the reason I come on this trip is so I can actually work in a beautiful environment and it helps my mindset. shows me what's possible and it allows me to receive a frame that I know I'm working towards. I only booked this for three nights. How much was it each night? About 40, 4,500? 4, 4,500. Imagine when you're making 20 million, 30 million, 100 million, you're a billionaire. This is just life for you. This is normal. This is the Indian Ocean. There's typically weddings here. There was a wedding here last time, right? Last time and then the next two days. Wow, after we leave. After you leave. So you're like, get the fuck out so we can have a ton of people. <laughs> yeah. So take a look. When, when was the uh, property built? It was in 2009. 2009? For this uh, old building in the Surga one. You, so there's two of them. Did you build both yeah. of them at the same time? Uh, no, it's different, in different time. This one was built in 2009. And then the other one, it's in 2008. I really love the glass. When I saw the glass, that's what did it for me. The glass here. It's so pretty. Is this a beach club right here? Uh, white rock. And if you would like to go to the beach, we have a direct so, access. Nice. We got another one coming to you guys. Gorgeous Bali. Probably gonna move out here. We'll see. <laughs> Again, what's that North Star for you? Allow your emotions and your imagination to propel you forward. Oftentimes, we allow our imagination to work against us. We think about all the things in life that we don't want to happen. So we get anxiety, yeah. we get stress. And that's when you're using your mind for the wrong things. So use your mind for positivity, abundance. Waiting for you. The dream life you have is waiting for you. So if you think positive, everything will be followed. That's right, 100%. That, I struggled with that earlier on and I didn't get the results I wanted, but it was because of my own thinking. It was not anyone else's fault. Yeah. It was my own beliefs of what I thought was possible. As soon as I changed those, I reminded myself, you will work through whatever anxieties you have and you'll start to see yourself have more success. I have something also to say that if you believe, you're already halfway there. Yep, and you're gonna have people who, when you speak your vision, they don't accept your vision, and they try to bring you to their level. Yeah. And that's that's fine, That they're going through their journey. It's your job to know in your heart that you have to have the faith no matter what. The faith within yourself is the only thing you have. Exactly. You can't depend that faith on anyone else. Yeah. Um, uh, mostly it's the couples, they're coming from uh, UK, Western uh, European, and also Americans. So they love to go to Bali because they know that the Bali's are already open. Yeah. You know that. Well, we wanted to, I wanted to do a um, big 10 bedroom at Surrey. Oh. I wanted to do that one because I know there's 
I think Taylor Swift was there. Yep. Uh, Kardashians were there at some point. So it's just cool to get the frame of reference of what life could be like. Yeah. You know that um, five years ago, Dash Berlin was doing his uh, music videos here. Oh, really? Yep. Who was it? Dash Berlin. I want to ask too, we want to have some people over mm. uh, tonight. Probably like 10 people mm. just, just to hang out. Yeah. So we're not going to play crazy music. No. Maybe just on a speaker or whatever. So. I can allow you. I don't know. All right. Yes, it's about uh, wow. We went from DPS to the bar. Mm. They had a I wanted to do DPS here, uh -huh. but it was booked. Ah, yes. Okay. So that's the wine cellar. Yeah, that's the wine cellar. Nice. Would you like me to open it? Sure, yeah. Let's uh, go through the Bukain wine cellar. Well, it's a good rate. You know, it's like the Maldives and it's 25 a night at the big one. Yeah, correct. Right. St. Regis, you know that one? Yeah, St. Yeah. Regis, yeah. And also, I was in Dubai for almost five years. You know that there is a seven star hotel there. So you can smoke a cigar here, drink some wine. It's nice and chilly in here. Yeah, it's good. We need to have a 24 hours. Sweet. Yeah, cool. Good morning, Junie. You have a beautiful property. I'm so blessed to be here. Thank you. So these are bathrooms? Yeah, this is bathroom, and I can show you also the one of the room here. Yeah. So, okay. so how many bedrooms in total? Six. Six bedrooms. Yes. Each bedroom has their own bath. Yep. This is a private uh, shower out here? Or just a so for the wedding, normally it will be occupied by uh, the parents of the bride and the grooms. Mm -hmm. Because it's more easier for them instead of going up and downs. Oh, the parents? Yes. Yeah, first floor. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Is this, this goes to the other room? Or? Yeah, no, this is for the bathrooms. Oh, cool. You guys did really well with the stone. Stone yeah. everywhere, it just, it's very clean. Thank you. We just, we, we just need to keep maintaining because... Oh, you know, oh, really? You have to keep... Uh, yeah, brushing, you know, and um, during those pandemics, we try not to close the, the villa. Because the reason why, because if you close, and yet you try to open after the pandemic, it will be very high cost on the maintenance. All oh, right, because the building costs. Yeah. The labor. Yeah, it's the same thing in the U.S. During 2020, it was very difficult very to build. Difficult, yeah, so yeah. everyone just stopped building. Yeah. yeah. Everything's doubled. And then here are the two master bedrooms. This is the two master bedrooms. Immaculate views. I don't know if there's any better views on a villa than Bali. And you know that why people love to work in Bali? Because they say that working in Bali is, is the same like a holiday. Artifacts. Yeah. Place around the property. The water of the relics. The relics, right. This one up here, George owns that, that one as well. This one is the, owned by the Singaporean. Oh, cool. Right. You know that in Bali we believe in uh, three visions. You're good with God, you're good with the plants, and you're good with people. Right. So those kind of things make it a, make a triangle. Then you incorporate those yes. in, in what you build. Exactly. I can feel it. I can see it. It's cool. You want to go to the other room? It's almost the same, but sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, there is a lot of artists from uh, in, in our local Indonesia as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, most of the time, the writers, they love to stay here. The poetry, but they just like... It's a um, clarifying... Yeah, it's the same like uh, Julia Roberts made the uh, movie about... Uh, Oh really? And about Bali. She's probably easy. She just sits on the on the deck and yeah, then just like hangs <laughs> out. Yeah, makes sense. That's the bathroom. Oh wow. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time, brother. No, no, it's okay. I just want to show you one another. Please. How was that? The massage room. Yeah, the massage room. I graduated in high school. You did? Yeah. Oh really? 2007. No kidding. Yeah. He graduated from Ohio State. <laughs> Nice. Go Bucks. Go Bucks, yeah. <laughs> but hey. It's a private massage room yeah. and they built tables for that very purpose. Probably want to do one of those, so I'll, I'll yeah, text you. Of course. Yeah. What do you think, Sergio? Can't go wrong with a big fat barbecue. <laughs> Cannot go wrong. I love this table. This big old. Yeah, it's original Bali. Yeah? Bali's what type of wood? Yeah. What type of wood? Oh, it's, we call it the chatis. Mmm. You know, it can. You know, survive from any kind of uh, weather. I know that this is like more than 30 or 40 years old. That's what I love in Bali because here there's just so much, 
so much craftsmanship here yep. everywhere. If you want to have the same thing like in Europe or America, yeah. it's like it's un like you cannot pay for it. Yeah. Because it's simply it's very expensive. So most people just like buy everything from IKEA and everything. And all that stuff breaks so easily. And, and you know here, that you know that IKEA also takes some from us, you know, and, yeah, and, they, and right. they just put in the label. They don't give you the credit. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we're here to do for sure. Okay. Okay. One uh, last place. Most of the time, I was staying here before. So this is where the management stays. No, it's just like it's part of the uh, villa one. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just only like you know, work table. Then I was staying here, but you know, it's better for me to you know just put it into the one part of the villa one, so more guests can stay here. Right. What's the uh, most amount of guests you've had? At one time, at And you mean the number? Yeah, the number. Well, I mean, um, in Villa, 100? 150 max, because we want to keep the private and the luxurious. If it's just a big old club, yeah. then it's <laughs> awesome, man. I really appreciate uh, Thank you. showing us around. Thank you, Blake. You're very blessed, and I'm looking you forward too. to sharing this with my audience. And sure, sure. Inspiring others to anything in your reality comes from your mind. Again, as we said on the lawn, when you Set an intention. People are gonna think you're crazy. Yeah. But that's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. Exactly. Blaze your own trail. This may not be the trail you want to blaze. It's just my version of my trail. But you have to blaze your own. And when you can do that, whatever you're after, you will succeed in getting. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so and much, thank brother. Thank you, Blake. No Come here. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Looking forward to uh, coming here again. Thank you. Enjoy Bali. Fuck yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I forgot. <laughs>